Dear everyman. 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 I don't really know where to begin. So let me start at the beginning. It's all about bricks and mortar. Um, and that's how you create the foundations for, for the future. You are a wonderful old girl. You're warm, you're affable, witty, intelligent and inspiring. I fell in love with you because, because I came to see a play. You gave me a home when I was homeless. And then you said to me, fill me to the rafters with your ideas and your passions. To me that means plays that are not afraid to be funny, plays that are passionate and emotional and plays that go out of their way to make you think. I love the theatre, I love the play. I wanted to work there more than anything else. It's lovely to have you back. We've missed you, I've missed you. The theatre space, no matter which theatre I write for, is always the everyman space inside my head. I've uh, danced and jived in your basement, sung on your stage, and learnt, I think, that you didn't have to have a degree from Oxbridge to write a play, or you didn't have to go to RADA to be an actor. To get to go to the Everyman Youth Theatre was one of the most amazing things I could ever do. It was great as a young person out there on the streets where people, where you always seemed to be in people's way and they were always telling you to shut up and be quiet and mind your place. To be in a place that they told you to speak up and shout and be a nuisance, you know, be a creative nuisance. In the Youth Theatre, aged 11, I knew that you belonged to me and that my inner world meant the world to you. The Everyman was the best drama school anyone could ever have, and this kind of theatre was the, exactly everything I wanted theatre to be. I also fell in love with you because of the people inside you. Where did you find the people who'd walk through your doors? I fell in love with you 40 years ago because, firstly, you gave me a job. Unpredictable, full of promise, dangerous, and sexy. I remember Mark McGann in a dress. I learned so much and I got to meet such amazing people and become a part of a huge family. All the work they do, supporting the next generation of talent, getting behind new writing. The Everyman was a picture of the world as the way I wanted to see it, because it was about community, friendship, uh, love, respect, inspiration, excitement, good food. Everybody was valued in whatever area for what they did. My relationship with you goes back so many years. I've seen you go through so many incarnations. I've seen Matthew Kelly do Funny Peculiar here. It was a great time to be here. And here we are again, 40 years on. You've metamorphosed into this beautiful, vibrant young lady. And the great thing about it now, seeing this whole new build and how, how beautifully it's evolved, is to just see how much it's calling everybody in. This is a place where everyone will be involved. My heart was broken when you were demolished. But oh dear, every man, you're like the phoenix. You're back again. And now you've gone all posh. Um, well, in a Liverpool sort of way. And it's going to be lovely to see you uh, with a new, uh, a new frock on but I'm sure you'll still be the same Ev inside. And I wish you, the Everyman, all the best for the future and I hope that, and I know it will continue to be a place where weird and wonderful things happen and the weird and wonderful people come for a drink. The only sad thing is, is that the Everyman sign will work. It never used to work. And it's a theatre that knows its community and it is for its community and that will stay. You have the honour and the privilege to be the mouthpiece for one of the most gloriously mouthy cities on earth. And I just hope in a city full of artistic extroverts that the Everyman Theatre can remain the hub. I just want to see the heart of this Liverpool theatre beat on and on and on, proud and loud. I hope that Liverpool knows that they deserve you, because we do. Let the power of history drive you forward into a brilliant future. Long live every man. Happy rebirth, every man. All power to your arm. Much love, Baz. 
you'll always have a place in my heart and in my soul. And you'll also always have a place in my house as well, because I've got one of your bricks. Thank you very much. Welcome back to your every man. Loads of love for the future and all you sailing, yeah. Good luck to you. God bless. P.S. If I ever die, it could happen, and my face shows up on a slice of burnt toast in a bistro or in a damp patch on the annex bog walls, don't be too surprised. You're in my bones. It's only fair I should be in yours. <laughs>